All right, it's Royal Surf Gamer here, back with another super sweet Sunday. I'm going to do Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Part 2. Um, I'm here buying some new weapons because I just finished the first boss. I'm actually going to go back and fight the first boss again because it's uh, pretty funny. So, not, not funny funny, but it's a pretty cool thing. So I'm going to buy some, uh, some new items here before we go off there. I really like the honey damage, and the reason why I like it is because um, it sticks the enemy in place, and I really like that. So, yeah. uh, let's see which one bounce. I don't know what ink does, so I guess I go with bounce here. Secondary. I guess I'm gonna go with. I'll go with ink on this one. I don't have enough coins. Oh, bummer. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna stay with the regular one. Um, oh, I might have been able to get some skill tree up. Um, let's see. Everyone has Mario has 40. So. I'm gonna increase the stomp damage. So if his team does like a a uh, jump move, now he can stomp on the enemy and he does 50. Uh, Peach Rabbit has 20, so I'm gonna allow her to dash twice. Uh, Rabbit, Luigi. I like his rocket, but I'm I've been using Luigi more. Um, that's not very good. That's too expensive. Let's just save those. All right, let's see what he can do. Dash damage up for thirty. If I have thirty, okay. Um. This one also over here. High ground damage, golden shot. What is this? Itchy feet for 30. Yeah. Movement is increased. I like that. Looks like he has uh, some good abilities. Looks like Luigi can really be uh, a good a good teammate here. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to do the redo the battle at the end of the first world. And uh, after I do that, I'm going to do the beginning of the second world. And then I'm going to go back later and do all the secrets from the first world. So I'm going to go to number... Um, let me go into five, huh? Well, hopefully this is where I want to be. Because all I want to do is face the last boss. I have to do a bunch of stuff in between. I really don't want to do that. So, um, thanks again for for tuning in. As always, um, I also added a email address down there at the bottom, along with my Twitter and YouTube. Um, obviously, you know where I am on YouTube. But um, so for the email, I am getting ready to, or I have starting to work out. Um, how to use a switcher to play NES, SNES, N64, and GameCube games on here. So if you want to suggest some games, you can email me at royalsurfgamer at gmail.com. I can get those, and um, I'll put them on the list of stuff to play in the future. So um, let me know what games you want to see, and um, I'll work them in Super Sweet Sundays, or I'll do extra videos. Um, I already have a ton of videos on the list. Um, let me see here. I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people have already suggested stuff to me uh, on Facebook. And then um, I have a couple more maybe that I haven't even added to that. So um, mostly stuff from NES and SNES, but like I said, I'm happy to... Happy to do other. Oh, I didn't see this before. Let's do this. Happy to do other systems like N64 and GameCube if you would like me to do that. So let's do this bonus area. 
I feel like I've done this one before, but I guess not. Oh, that was bogus. Let me see, I guess you gotta go around here. Oh, okay. Oh, you gotta go back around. All right, well, I've, I've done, as we say in the South, even though I'm not from the South, we done messed this up, so I'm gonna do it again. I hear some of these puzzles get really hard later in the game where you have to like be down to the literal pixel to get it. So. But this time I should have plenty of time left to get all these this time. Now that I know the mechanic. There we go. By the way, if you missed last week's Super Sweet Sunday, I also did Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. And, um, so you can watch that as well. I'll put the link at the end of this video for that. So if you missed last week's, you can watch last week's as well. Alright, um, where am I going here? Where am I going? I really just want to fight this, this boss again, if it will let me. Hopefully it will let me. It said that when I finish the first world that I can now replay, um, I can now replay battles if I want, so. Wow. All these were like pipe puzzles where you to move pieces around and, and make, uh, all right, so hopefully I can do this again. This is, this is not it. I gotta go back and do all these challenges. You know, I just like, uh, I'm not a collection person, but I'm kind of a completionist. So like, I don't need to collect all of like the 3D artifacts or whatever, but I do like to do all the challenges. And sometimes that gets you to be a completionist and sometimes it doesn't, so. Walking through the world, making up my own song, don't know why I'm singing. Hopefully I will be able to fight this guy. Because I'd be really bummed out if I got all the way up here and then it's like, nah, you can't do this battle over again. Okay, I guess there's something over here in Peach's Castle area called the Washing Machine that was unlocked. Here it is. And this is what allows you to replay levels that you've completed. So, um, I guess that's what we're doing. Here we go. So I got a perfect on it that I want to replay. So, I just think it's really, uh, I don't know, the mechanics aren't really clever, but I just really like the boss. I think it's just, I don't know, he's like, uh, rabbits are not particularly cute. In my opinion, they're kind of ugly, but I really like the uh, the rabid boss here. So. So basically, uh, I climbed to the top earlier and showed you what was going on. And basically, this is the guy we're hunting down. And I think, uh, yeah, Bowser Jr. comes flying in here and he's like, yo, I'm gonna use him for my evil power. You really wanna use him for your evil power. And um, basically he kidnaps the guy. So I don't know why this rabbit was like so bold earlier in the game and then now it's like, they call him Spawny. And now he's like kind of wussy, he doesn't want to do anything. And so he, he just gets like, like bye. So I don't know. So I guess Bowser Jr. is the main bad guy in this game. And then, um, the boss of this level is Rabid Kong. So it's like a rabid cro cross with Donkey Kong. And I actually think that he's a pretty good looking rabid. Which is not usually true. So. And the mechanic is pretty good. Well, not pretty good, it's all right. Um, it's a little messy, but I understand what's going on. 
So uh, I got a little bit of a pro strat here. If you're a person that believes in like pro strategies, um, you have to press that little button with the banana on it because every time you hit him, um, so that's obviously not good. Every time you hit him, he will eat a banana and regain 120 HP. So it's like you didn't hit him at all. So what you got to do is basically get um, someone to this mark and press the button and then you can shoot him. So, um, I'm going to go and slide this person and then come back over here, here, and shoot him. So that'll take him out. I'm not really worried about losing health right now. I just want to get rid of this rabbit. And I just have these new updated um, guns as well, so they're like much better than what I actually do the boss with the first time. So then I'm going to use Peach and I'm gonna put her up here. Now when he pounds the ground, she's behind the tall metal block, she will not get uh, injured or bounce back. So, and then I'm gonna use the sandbagger and I'm gonna go for this. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to use one of your characters to press that button down. You can use a remote. So if you actually update your skill tree and you have a remote and both Peach and Luigi both have remotes that will just like destroy people basically. Um, it's really good because then you can just send them out after the Kong. So anyway, um, let's go hit this guy. And then I really would like to go somewhere else, but I guess we're just gonna have to go here. And shoot him, so at least we'll have two of the rabbits dead before we do anything else. And then we want the sandbagger to go after the boss. So now he can't... <laughs> he can't uh, do anything about it. And I'm going to also heal because we all lost 10 last turn. I'm going to put on the hero site. And the steely... Uh, I won't use the steely stair this time. And I'll just make an enemy's turn. If you remember from last time, the hero site is if any enemy moves, then... Um, Mario will shoot them. See, he didn't move yet. Maybe Mario's not in range. Yeah, there he goes. So Mario's going to shoot him, and that's going to be it. So that's um, it's kind of like Overwatch from XCOM. So now, unfortunately, the bomb can't hurt him. Um, it just stands there. So I'm just going to, I guess, move here. I don't know if that's going to be close enough to shoot him or not. Just barely. So. And then I think he goes to the left side second. So I'm going to move Mario here. So he won't get knocked back. And then I'm going to move Peach, Rabid Peach here, so she won't get knocked back. And she has a 55 to 65, so that automatically is going to be a hit. So then he jumps up and... Oh, I picked right. Oh, no, I picked right. So only Luigi got bounced back. The rest of them didn't. Which is good, because obviously you don't want them to get bounced back. He ate that, he's gonna restore his health, and I have to do it all over again. Now that remote that Peach used before is still viable, and it will go over there, but um, it's not important right now, so. Um, he can't move right now. And there's a lot of money. Um, and she can just reduce weapon weapon uh, damage, so that's it. So he's gonna do his little thing. And Luigi's gonna get bounced off the board for 30 extra damage, because that's what I need, is for my weakest person to get hit. These two guys are pretty weak. Um, the drone moves, which is good. So... 
I guess with uh, with Bebo, I think that's what his name is, you can pick up all these coins, so I'm going to do that really quick, because obviously there was, if you saw the beginning of the video, there was this one um, weapon that I want to buy, and I couldn't afford it, so I'm going to try to get up there as well. And there's lots of coins just hanging out over here. Alright, so now let's go here, and then back. So I don't think I can kill him, unfortunately, but I can get close unless I get a... Oh, I got a critical. Cool. Right. So, <laughs> Luigi basically can't do anything. He might die. That would really suck, though. Um, um, let's do the long shot. And then we'll, we'll use Steely Stare, so if he moves, he gets hit. And then Peach can use her gun to kill him. And again, Peach and Mario are both um, behind this thing, so they can't get bounced. Only, uh, only Luigi can right now, so... So he's going to try to bounce us. Luigi gets bounced, and now we can attack. Oh, it was one space short. Are you kidding me? Alright. Well, we can't attack after all. I'm gonna put Luigi here, though. And I'm just gonna wait another turn. So, it literally did nothing, which is pretty funny. And now, the remote does that. Maybe I forgot to pick them up last time. I don't think so, but maybe I did. Alright. Um, loaded question. So I'm gonna move to this. No, he's gonna be on the opposite side. So I need to be over here this time, because he's gonna fly across the other side. And not in range. Okay. So I'm gonna move Luigi. And I'm gonna put him here. I know he's gonna get bounced back. Oh, I guess I can move him here. Let me see how far Mario can move. Can move back there. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to move Luigi here. Here. Man, I really want to use my healing, but... I guess I'll just move him. I guess I'll just move him here, because Mario's... I'm not worried about Mario. And... I can shoot him. Wow. So I'm going to jump the other side, and repeat one more time. Unfortunately, Mario's on the wrong side, but he got bounced backward. So that's fine, I don't really care. And then I'm gonna stop. Uh, hmm, that's all I need to do. I think. Yeah, that's all I can do this turn. So we're gonna get Mario back room. Then we got this guy. Whenever you shoot this guy, he charges toward you. So, everyone's gonna take a while to get there, but luckily I have um, this drone, which can do 80 to 90 damage. So I'm gonna use this drone on the rabbit there for 117. I'm gonna move Mario up here, because again, Mario has plenty of health, so I'm not really worried. And he's gonna shoot the big guy, and then he can't charge, because he's dead. And then I'm gonna use Luigi's tank, or drone, or remote, or whatever, to go hit the button. And then next turn, we should be able to finish him off. And 
that doesn't really work, um, the Steely Stair, because the comp doesn't move. But I will use extra movement for, for Mario for next turn. Because he'll get bounced back in case I need him. One shot. Two shots, and that's it. So I just thought that was a fun fight. I really like the Rabbit Kong, and uh, <laughs> you know this is kind of like King Kong climbing the building in the movie King Kong, but it's a pretty funny ending here. <laughs> like Mario's like, no, don't kill him. Peach is like. It's like a cat. It's like watches you, and then the cat's like, I'm gonna do it anyway, just to piss you off. That's exactly how a cat would act. I just think it's I think it's funny. I think this whole sequence, the whole battle's good. And then <laughs> she takes a bunch of selfies with Rabbit Kong. And I just think it's I think it's a great sequence of events. And the rabbits love it, and the humans are, like, disgusted at her, but poor Rabbit Kong is gone. And so that's the end of the first chapter. It was a little bit easier for me that time because I had powered up weapons. Um, so it would take a few more hits if I weren't powered up. So that's uh, World 1 boss battle. I still don't have enough money to get the gun I want. So I'm going to go to World 2, which is the Desert World, because like 99% of the time in Mario, World 2 is the Desert World. So uh, let's find the Desert World. Yep, yeah, here it is. So, you, we learned how to push blocks at the end of World 1 as well for beating Rabid Kong. So, that's what I can do there. Hmm. I guess this is another block pushing puzzle that I, that I probably have to do something with this, like melt it. Can't do that yet, so. But I can push these. I don't think it matters though. Anyway, let's hop in here and go to 2 1. I wonder why it's snowy and deserty. Maybe it's cold. I don't know. Once thriving, I don't think the deserts are ever thriving. So there's Toadette, and uh, I think it's funny because uh, Toadette and Toad are, Toadette's female and Toad is male, and there are multiple Toads and multiple Toadettes, but none of them are dating, like Mario said that they don't date. So who knows how they make more Toads? That's pretty cute. Um, who knows how they date or how they make more toads because they don't date. Toad is toad and toadette's toadette and that's it. One's male, one's female and they don't date. I guess I can't push those either. So, Nintendo, you need to tell me how do toads procreate? How does that work? Are they like fungi and they just grow or what? So. so this is the first level of chapter two. I don't know if there are multiple parts or not, so we'll see. Uh, looks like there are one, two, three, four, and two of them are a little bit stronger, so. Uh, let's move. Peach. Did she hit one? Yeah, maybe. She can at least try. Nope. 
Nope. But if he moves, he's gonna get hit. And then let's see where I can go with the jump. Not far enough, but... Can at least get behind the second block, try to shoot him again, and if not... Oh, that's it. I was gonna put on the steely stare. And I think I'm close enough to where I'll hit that one if he moves, so let's do that. And I think that's all I can do this turn, so let's see what the enemies do. See, he tried to move. Crit. Oh, I didn't realize he's close enough. So that was it. He moved and we destroyed that guy. So. And he can move a long way. wonder what that was. Hmm. Can't get around there, but I can move. And I can put on a shield. And I guess I can't hurt him this turn. I guess it would take me two turns to hurt him. I just don't know if like I can damage him or not. Let's just see what happens. It just breaks a shield. It just breaks a shield, which is fine. Mm. You can't stomp on him with Luigi, unfortunately. But what I can do is bring him over here. Mm. Let's do Mario first. Use Mario to jump on top of this guy. Load over here. And then blast him. And then we'll use Luigi. I guess Luigi just is gonna get hit. Nothing I can really do about it. But, at least only one person's gonna get hit this turn. As far as I know. Yep. All right. How far can she go? I guess a couple spaces. Let's send Mario through here. See, that's enough to break the shield. The shields are new in World 2, so it's brand new to me. And that's all Mario can do. So let's take Peach through here. All right, let's put her there. So I'm going to use heal on Mario because he's the only one that's been shot and then I'll use the gun on the guy mm -hmm. let's see what I have here 65 to 70 so not quite enough to kill him for either one. So I guess someone's going to get hit again because I just couldn't get close enough. Um, I guess I'll just put him back here. It's probably pretty dumb, but why not? Oh, it's critical. That's good. So that's the level. Another perfect score. I did actually not get it perfect on a couple of them, so who knows? Uh, maybe two. But 
guess there's multiple levels on World 2 as well. I was told there were only multiple levels in World War World 1, but I guess there are in 2 as well. So. so it looks like the slide in the gun with Mario is enough to kill a weak rabbit in this level. Because that would be 75 minimum. Um, I need to see where these other rabbits are. There's one up here. And I can kill him as well. Or it. I don't know if rabbits are boys or girls. There is melee, uh, there are melee attacks in this game as well. We got one over here, and then one over here, and one down there. So, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get hit once. And they can attack the drones, but of course that's good because that makes sure that you don't get hit. Um, and I'm going to use my hero side on both of them because pretty much everyone's in range of someone. And then she doesn't need the shield because she only has 50% chance of getting hit. So you went after the drone instead, which is just fine with me. <laughs> so I was in range of Mario, but not Luigi. I don't know what this move they're doing is. Oh, I was in range of Luigi, but not Mario. All right, let's see if it gets close enough. Oh, it had oversight as well. So if we move this guy over here, sorry, has a uh, has Overwatch as well. So if we move, then he's going to shoot. So that sucks. Um, this one does not, though. No line of sight, huh? Hmm. I guess I'll move with Peach. No, I'm just shoot this guy over here. That should be 100%. I'm sorry. I'll just use my drone because that will kill him. And then use my shield. And I'm just gonna get shot probably. But that's okay because I'll take him out. That's all but one. And I think I'm going to try to just stay hidden as much as I can from this guy with Luigi. Luigi's definitely the weakest um, as far as health goes, so you want to try to protect him. He also has long range abilities. See, so that's why I did that with what I did with Peach. All right, hit him. This should be enough to kill this last rabbit here. Wow. Yep. Luigi's usually not a close combat type of guy, but obviously there it worked. Oh yeah, that's the end of the stage, so. 
All right, so that was 2-1. Um, got some orbs to help level my guys up, and um, you also saw a boss battle today. So again, thanks for watching my videos. Um, subscribe to me here on YouTube, Royal Serp Gamer. Follow me on Twitter, at Royal Serp Gamer. And again, email me if you want to see an NES, SNES, N64 GameCube game. Um, some of the older ones I can do full playthroughs of if I own them. If I don't own them and they are affordable, I will buy them. I have already had one person ask me to play a game and it was like $3.69 on Amazon. So I'm going to order it and play it. And uh, so if you have any ideas for that, email me at royalsyrupgamer at gmail.com, all one word. So I hope you enjoyed this super sweet Sunday video. This was Mario and Rabbids Part 2, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this week's super sweet Sunday game. Last week I also did Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Part 1, and if you missed it, you can see what's going on in Part 1 by clicking the video link at the left. Also, you can subscribe by clicking my face in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks for watching Royal Syrup Gamer.